weavers welcome back i'm grace with tangled webs weaving today i wanted to show you a little hack that i kind of came up with i'm sure i'm not the first one to uh, come up with this but i thought i would share it with you in case you hadn't thought of it so currently i have a 12 shaft loom with 14 treadles currently i'm weaving an eight shaft pattern with nine treadles tied up. Two of those treadles, treadles one and two, are the tabby treadles. Uh, this is a summer winter pattern. So those two treadles alternate lifting every other thread. And I th use those treadles between the pattern picks. The problem that I have is the seven treadles in between those tabby picks are basically you're walking across and kind of walking back. So what I encountered is I'm pushing treadle one, which is on the far left, and then I'm pushing treadle three, which is two in, Then I'm going back to two, and then I push four, go back to one, press five, go back to two, and on and on and on. And I keep having to look down at every single treadle to see that I'm on the right one. So I thought, since I have extra treadles that I'm not using, pattern calls for nine treadles, I have 14 available. What if I tied up treadle one and two on the left and treadle one and two on the right, and then depending on where my feet are, I can just move from the pattern treadles moving across and use either my left foot or my right foot, depending on um, where the pattern foot is. So that's kind of confusing, I realize. So I thought I would demonstrate it underneath the loom and you can see how the walking concept works. So let me grab the camera and go mobile and we'll go under the loom and see what we have. Okay, here we are under the loom and you can see I use blue painter's tape to number my treadles. Um, the far left treadle is just providing weight, um, this one right here, to because I use a countermarch loom and I have to provide weight on uh, the lower lambs to balance it. Um, same thing with these two over here. Since I'm not using them, I'm using them as weight to counter the weight on the upper lens. So you can see here, um, this, these are my two uh, tabby treadles on the left. These are my two tabby treadles on the right. So the pattern requires that I press treadle three, and then treadle one. But that requires kind of skipping over here. So I decided if I'm using my left foot on treadle three, my right foot is on treadle one over here and it can just stay there. So the pattern is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, six, three, four. For every odd numbered treadle, the tabby is on treadle one. For every even numbered treadle, the tabby treadle is on two. So here is, I'll see if I can do this while holding the camera. So 
I'm going to treadle three and then treadle one. Then I'm going to treadle four and treadle two. Then treadle five, then treadle one, treadle six, treadle two. At this point, I'm going to be crossing over my kind of center point. So this is the only point where I'm on six, I can move my foot over and feel my foot on six so that I know I'm on seven. And then I go all the way to the left because my next treadle is one, then eight, two, and then here again, I may have to look, but I know five is just a foot away. And then I can come back over here to one, six, two, and then jump over here to three. But see, I can just slide my foot over to one again, four, and two. And then I do several picks of tabby, uh, 12 picks of tabby. So I can just go one, two, one, two, and so on. The alternative was going to be one, three, four, two, five, one, six, two, and then I could use my right foot and do seven, one, eight, and two. Now you might be wondering, well, where does nine ever come in? Um, nine is, creates a line, and I'll come back up here. So nine creates this line. And it just raises shaft one. And then I tie that down with my tabby picks. So nine, one, nine, oops, sorry, two. So that is my little hack. So if you like this video, and this hack, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks and happy weaving. Oh, by the way, if you have any hacks of your own, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear about them and demonstrate them. Thanks.